Welcome back. We get started out at the Ice Palace. Six-ranked Dodge County girls taking on New Prague. Well, first period, no score. Molly Coach looking to score. That's got a breakaway here. Fires one. That goes just wide right. Dodge County would keep the pressure going. Hannah Peterson, look at the stick skills. Whole lot of sauce, but a great save from Maisie Locke there to keep this one scoreless. Eventually, the Wildcats would break through. Abby Simons sends in a shot. Rebound out front. That's Maisie Coke. Chip shot in as Dodge County goes in front. 1-0. Dodge County added on three more. They won this game 4 to nothing. And some more hockey scores here. Century to win on the road against Mankato East, 5-2. Northfield shuts out Lord, 8-0 on the road. Another page here, junior hockey, excuse me, here. Rochester Grizzlies to win over the Peoria Mustangs, 7-3. And the Austin Bruins win over Minot, 5-3. All right, now to junior college basketball. The sixth-ranked RCTC men played host to Central Lakes tonight. We'll get things going in the first half. The Jackets got off to a good start. As the shot clock expires, Quest McCrimmon kisses it off the glass. Jackets up two. A little bit later, the Raiders would get out in transition. Anthony Birch takes it all the way to the rack to trim RCTC's lead to two. But after that, RCTC started to find its rhythm. Former Lord Eagle Peyton Dunham finds Cameron Givens who lays it in. Then later, former Mayo Spartan Andre Crockett Jr. gets the steal. He lobs it up to Givens, who lays it in. A lot of fun basketball out there at RCTC. The men beat Central Lakes 66 to 52. All right, let's go to the women's side now. They're taking on Central Lakes as well, open for two W's in this doubleheader. And the Jackets, they came out rolling. Raven Miles here in transition. Will Euro buckets good. RCTC up two. Now Central Lakes would try and punch back. This first shot off here. But Alyssa Torgerson with the board and the putback. It's a four-point RCTC lead. There's no slowing down this train. Jackets get the steal, then Miles. Delisle's own Olivia Christensen. Count the bucket, plus one. Hoop in the arm. Jackets up 10. And here another steal for RCTC. And look at this ball. Just hop around. Levines Lewis and Alturas. Maya Ruzek. Layup is good. RCTC out to a 15-point lead. The RCTC women blow out Central Lakes 95-37. to That's some big news and a big honor for a local athlete. Tyler Gunnison, who competes in track and field for St. Charles, named a 2022 High School All-American by U.S. Paralympics track and field. Tyler specifically an All-American 100-meter wheelchair, wheelchair event. He's one of 34 athletes across the nation to be selected. The committee looks at the top athlete performances in each event this year, compares it to the A standard for the Paralympic track and field national team. Just a sophomore, an incredible achievement. A big congrats go out to Tyler there. That's absolutely incredible.